Good day everybody. Join me today in the devotion of chapter 10 in the book 1 to 1. A question is asked, how can two walk together without being in agreement? When we become Christian, we join Christ to walk with him. We join Christ to be in relationship with him. And how can we be in a relationship with him without having an agreement? So for us to have an agreement, we need to agree with him. We need to communicate that agreement. But in our walk, Christ said, he called us friends because he relates to us to a point that he can call us friends. Since he can call us friends, then we are in a relationship that we can talk and have a conversation with him. In the Bible, it say, I think Yesaya once said that, come, let's reason together. So when you become Christian, we are able to reason together with him. We are able to communicate into a point that we can have a dialogue with him. But now, when we have a dialogue with God, it's not a physical relationship. It's spiritual. And inside spiritual, we are filled with words. And those words must come from somewhere. He must have spoken to us. And this time he has spoken and it's written in the Bible. And from the Bible, we're able to read those spoken words such that we are able to have his response with the words that we know within us. When we come to a situation or to a place where we have to ask ourselves, what can we do? What should we do next? How is it done? The Bible say in, I'm going to read it, the scripture in the Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is God-breathed. It's useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in the righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So when we serve God and we walk with God in that relationship, we must read the word so that we are able to communicate in all the decisions, in everything we do. We've got the word, which is for equipping us to the walk with God. So God speak to us through his word, through the Bible.